uh, leave insert higher level maths 2020 this is paper one and this is the solution video to question six so question six is a calculus question and it starts off with a differentiation from first principles so differentiate this function here at uh, 3x minus 5 times 2x plus 4 with respect to x from first principles so the first thing we're going to have to do for this is to get rid of the brackets multiply this out so 3x by 2x is 6x squared 3x by 4 is 12x minus 5 by 2x is minus 10x and minus 5 by 4 is minus 20 so we actually have the function 6x squared uh, 12x minus 10x is plus 2x and minus 20 so that's the f of x now when we're doing first principles we need the f of x plus h also so the f of x plus h is equal to 6 times x plus h squared plus 2 times x plus h minus 20. So that's equal to 6 times, that would be x squared plus 2xh plus h squared plus 2, um, plus 2 times x, that's 2x, 2 times h, that's 2h minus 20 and then multiply in the 6 then that's equal to 6x squared plus 6 by 2xh is 12xh 6 by h squared is plus 6h squared plus or 2x plus 2h minus 20. Now for the first principles we need the formula for that so it's the f of x plus h minus the f of x all over h and then we take the limit as h approaches zero so that's equal to the f of x plus h that's this here 6x squared plus 12xh plus 6h squared plus 2x plus 2h minus 20 minus the f of x so this is the f of x up here so it's going to be minus all of this so that's minus 6x squared minus 2x and plus 20 and that'll all be over h now if you know your differentiation from first principles you'll know that these terms here will all cancel out with each other so that will just leave us with the limit as h approaches 0 of the f of x plus h minus the f of x over h equal to, we have 12xh, 6h squared, and 2h. We have a common h to everything. So if we take h outside, we have 12x plus 6h plus 2 over h. The h's cancel. So that's equal to 12x plus 6h plus 2. And if we take the limit as h approaches 0 of this, We then let h equal to 0. That's equal to 12x plus 6 times 0 plus 2, which is equal to 12x plus 2. On to part b then. Part b h of x is equal to a half times the natural log of 2x plus 3 plus c, where c is a constant, find h prime of x, the first derivative of h of x. So when we're differentiating a log function like this, the first derivative of h, x, h prime of x, it's going to be half times 1 over 2x plus 3. 
times the derivative of what's inside the brackets, so it's times two. The two and the half can cancel out with each other, or they multiply to give you one. So the first derivative, h prime of x is equal to one over two x plus three. Uh, the constant c obviously just differentiates to give you zero, so you don't even need to worry about that. On to the next part then, uh, the diagram below shows part of the graph of the function of h prime of x. So that's the, the derivative. The shaded region in the diagram between the graph and the x-axis from x equal to 0 to x equal to a. This shaded region has an area of log 3, natural log of 3 square units. Find the value of a. So basically we would integrate this function between 0 and a and we would find the area. We're given the area, so we can do it um, just backwards to find a. So the integral between 0 and a of our function h prime of x, so of 1 over 2x plus 3 dx is equal to natural log of 3, ln 3. Now, if you're paying attention, you'll know that we got this by differentiating this function here in the first part. So that function there is actually our integral of this here. So we can say that that is equal to uh, the integral of one over two x plus three is a half times the natural log of two x plus three plus c. And that's gonna be evaluated between 0 and a, and that is equal to the natural log of 3. So we can evaluate this then between 0 and a. So we sub in a, and then we take away and sub in 0. So that would be half times the natural log of 2a plus 3 plus c minus a half log of 2 times 0 plus 3 minus the c equals natural log of 3. C's cancel. So I have a half log of 2a plus 3 minus a half log of 3. Basically, 2 times 0 is 0. Um, so I want to get rid of these fractions first of all. So I'm going to multiply everything by 2 and tidy up a little bit to get natural log of 2a plus 3 minus the natural log of 3 equals 2 times the log of 3. And you know that 2 ln 3 can be written as ln of 3 squared or the ln of 9. So I'm just going to put that straight in here, the natural log of 9. Then I can use laws of logs. So log of this minus log of this is equal to the log of this divided by this. So ln of 2a plus 3 over 3 is equal to ln of 9. So then we can equate these two bits here and we can say that 2a plus 3 over 3 is equal to 9. Multiply across by 3, 2a plus 3 is equal to 27. 2a then is equal to 27 minus 3, which is 24. a is equal to 12. So a is equal to 12. So that's uh, this point here, uh, 0, 12. If you integrate the function between 0 and 12, we get a value of ln of 3 square units. OK, so thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just ask in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next video.